Hello everyone, this is Ria Chandok, your social studies teacher. So if you are watching this video, I am quite sure that you must have watched all the previous videos as well. Also, I am sure that all my videos must have helped you out in each chapter. But here I want to clear a point that is the motive of making these videos is not to make you a copycat that whenever you wanted any answers, whenever you wanted uh, to find the answers of any chapter, you can simply go to the videos and find the answers. No, the actual objective behind this is to make you self-sufficient, is to guide you that how you can mark your answers, how you can find all the answers given in your exercise yourself by just carefully reading the chapter. So I again and again insist on reading the chapter carefully. So if you read the chapter of all history, geography or suffix, if you read the chapter carefully, you can easily find all the answers yourself. And trust me, when you find, when you read the chapter, when you find all the answers yourself, you automatically learn those answers. You need not to give extra time learning those answers or learning those questions or learning those exercises or anything, right? So I think I'm clear here that my videos are to guide you. Is It is to provide you a direction. Uh, these videos should, should not make you a copycat, right? So without further up to, let's start today's chapter, okay? So I'm moving my screen to my book. So today for class 7 geography, we will do the exercise of chapter number 6, atmospheric pressure and winds. So in the exercises, first of all, there are fill up the blanks. And first one is air exerts pressure because it occupies dash and has dash. So air exerts pressure because it occupies space and has weight. Next, the equatorial low pressure belt is also known as the dash. The equatorial low pressure belt is also known as the doldrums. Next, the dash breeze blows during the day while the dash breeze blows at night in coastal areas. So the sea breeze blows during the day while the land breeze blows at night in coastal areas. Next, the dash is a cool, dry, dusty wind that blows over northwestern Africa. The Hermiton, the Hermiton is a cool, dry, dusty wind that blows over northwestern Africa. Next, the Chinook is a dash type local wind. The Chinook is a phone type local wind. Right? Next, there are identify the following instruments. So, first one is it is used to measure atmospheric pressure. So, the instrument which is used to measure atmospheric pressure is barometer, right? It is barometer. Next, it helps determine wind direction. So, the instrument which is helps determine wind direction is wind vane. It is wind vane. Next, it is used to measure wind speed. So, the instrument which is used to measure wind speed is anemometer. It is anemometer. Next, now next there are match the three columns. So we will match the column wind with the column blow from uh, and then we will match the column wind with the column blow towards. So first we will number the first column as 1, 2, 3. That trade winds is, will be numbered as 1. Westerlies will be numbered as 2 and polar winds will be numbered as 3. So trade winds blow from it blow from subtropical high pressure and blow towards equatorial low pressure right the next westerlies westerlies blow from subtropical high pressure blow towards subpolar low pressure third one polar winds polar winds blow from polar high pressure and blow towards subpolar low pressure right so the first column is numbered as 1 2 3 the second column blow from is numbered as 1 3 and 2 and third column blow towards is numbered as 2 3 and 1 
right next next is answer the following question and the first one is which are the three main factors that influence atmospheric pressure so for this answer come to page number 45 of your books page number 45 under the heading factors influencing atmospheric pressure clearly three points are given that is altitude air temperature and moisture content so you have to write all these three points as a factor which influence atmospheric pressure right now question number 2 is name the four pressure belts of the world explain how they are related to the permanent winds so for this answer come to page number 45 on page number 46 first column the major pressure belts of the world is given first the equatorial low pressure belt then the subtropical high pressure belt the subpolar low pressure belt and the polar high pressure belt do not write what is written in in the brackets just write about the equatorial low pressure belt the subtropical high pressure belt the subpolar low pressure belt and the polar high pressure belt now the second part of the question says explain how they are related to prevailing winds so for this answer come to page number 47 So for second part of answer number 2 we will write from here under the heading permanent winds we will write from here permanent winds are the winds that blow between the major pressure belts of the world after this we will write from here they are called permanent winds because they blow throughout the year constantly in the same direction they are of three types trade winds westerlies and polar winds then we will make three points first point the trade winds the trade winds blow from subtropical high pressure belt to the equatorial low pressure belt this is first point second point on page number 48 on on page number 48 second point the westerlies the westerlies blow from the subtropical high pressure belt to the subpolar low pressure belt this is second point third point third point the polar winds so the polar easterlies are permanent winds that blow from polar high pressure belt to the subpolar low pressure belt right so this was your answer number 2 question number 3 is how are winds affected by the rotation of the earth so for this answer come to page number 47 of your books so on page number 47 very first column uh last paragraph the answer will start from here winds are affected by the rotation of the earth instead of blowing straight from an area of high pressure then we'll come to second column from an area of high pressure to an area of low pressure the winds are deflected or turned aside by the force of rotation which is called the coriolis force this deflection is explained by ferrel's law which states that freely moving bodies on the surface of the earth are deflected to to the right in the northern hemisphere and to the left in the southern hemisphere right so this was your answer number 3 now question number 4 is what are monsoon winds describe the south west monsoon of indian subcontinent so for this answer come to page number 48 so for the first part of the answer on page number 48 under the heading the monsoons the answer will start from here the monsoons are winds that blow in the tropics they are rain bearing winds that are of vital importance to the areas over which they blow this is the first part of the answer now for the second part of the answer i am dictating the answer please note it down it is it is mostly the answer which i will dictate is mostly the same which is written in your books but i'm just making the language little more easy right so the second part of the question says uh describe the southwest monsoon of the indian subcontinent so for this part of the answer we'll write the answer in points first point is in summer in summer the interior parts of asia in summer the interior parts of asia get heated and develop low pressure second point the indian ocean which surrounds indian peninsula the indian ocean which surrounds indian peninsula remains cooler and high pressure prevail remains cooler and high pressure prevail 
थर्ड पॉइंट द लो प्रेशर ओवर एशिया पुल्स द लो प्रेशर ओवर एशिया पुल्स साउथ ईस्ट ट्रेड विंड्स पुल्स साउथ ईस्ट ट्रेड विंड्स फोर्थ पॉइंट वेन साउथ ईस्ट ट्रेड विंड्स क्रॉस इक्वेटर वेन साउथ ईस्ट ट्रेड विंड्स क्रॉस इक्वेटर ड्यू टू कोरोलेस फोर्स द विंड गेट्स डिफ्लेक्टेड ड्यू टू कोरोलेस फोर्स द विंड गेट डिफ्लेक्टेड नेक्स्ट पॉइंट दीज विंड्स नाउ अप्रोच द इंडियन सब कॉन्टिनेंट दीज विंड्स नाउ अप्रोच द इंडियन सब कॉन्टिनेंट फ्रॉम साउथ वेस्ट एंड दे आर फोर कॉल्ड साउथ वेस्ट मानसून दीज विंड्स नाउ अप्रोच द इंडियन सब कॉन्टिनेंट फ्रॉम साउथ वेस्ट एंड दे आर फोर कॉल्ड साउथ वेस्ट मानसून नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव इज विद द हेल्प ऑफ डायग्राम्स explain how sea breeze and land breeze blow in coastal areas so for this answer come to page number 48 so on page number 48 under the heading land and sea breeze first we will write the introductory line land and sea breeze blows blow along coastal areas land and sea breeze blow around along coastal areas after this we will write first point during day time the land gets and we will come to next page so during day time the land gets heated up faster than the sea as a result high pressure prevail over the sea and low pressure over the land therefore the wind blows from the sea to the land this is called sea breeze second point will write in the night the land cools down faster than the sea the area of high pressure shifts to the land after this cut the word since the sea cut this word so the answer will read as sea takes long time to cool down after that after cool down also cut and is therefore still relatively warm cut this so the answer will read as sea takes a long time to cool down and low pressure prevails over the water body therefore the wind blows from land to sea this is known as a land breeze right so this was your answer number 5 so with with answer number 5 you need to draw the diagram which is given on page number 49 day sea breeze and night land breeze you need to draw this diagram after question and answers there are multiple choice questions so first one is atmospheric pressure is measured in grams per cubic centimeter kilograms per cubic meter millibars or meters per second the atmospheric pressure is measured in millibars that is mb so correct option is c next atmospheric pressure increases with altitude decreases with altitude remains unchanged with altitude or none of the above so the atmospheric pressure decreases with altitude so here correct option is b third one is the pressure at chennai is more than the pressure at the hill station uti which of these sentences could explain why it is so options hot air exerts less pressure than cold air or dry air is lighter than air laden with moisture or pressure decreases with increase in height or none of the above so the so correct option is c pressure decreases with increase in height therefore the pressure at chennai is more than the pressure at the hill station uti next fourth one the subtropical the subtropical high pressure belt is caused by options descending cold air intense heating leading to rising winds local winds or all of the above so the subtropical high pressure belt is caused by descending cold air so correct option is a descending cold air next what would a wind that blows from the north west to the south east be called so if a wind blows from north west to south east it is known as north west wind so here correct option is c c north west wind what does ferrell's law explain options the deflection of wind on the surface of the yes the ferrell's law explain the deflection of the wind on the surface of the earth so here the correct option is a next prevailing winds blow throughout the year in the same direction every year during a certain season over a small area for a short period 
half the year from one direction and the other half from the opposite direction so the prevailing winds blow throughout the year in the same direction so here the correct option is a a next the monsoons are prevailing winds periodic winds local winds or none of the above so the mon monsoons are periodic winds so here correct option is b the periodic winds next along coastal areas in the nights the winds blow from the land to sea blow from the sea to land stops blowing completely none of the above so along the coastal area in the night the winds blows from the land to sea so here the correct option is a next a hot dry local wind which blows down the eastern flank of the rockies is option hermiton phone chinook or low it loo it is option number c chinook right so the hot dry local wind which blows down the eastern flank of the rockies is the chinook so here the correct option is c so on this note we have completed the exercise of chapter number 6 of geography the pressure belts atmospheric pressure and winds so that is all for today's video if you like the video or if the video was helpful to you don't forget to hit the like button if you have any query any doubt anything you can always comment in the comment box and also for further videos for further updates please subscribe to the channel because i'll be bringing more and more educational videos for you and uh, apart from educational videos some other general life videos as well so stay in touch with the channel and also share it with your friends so that they can also be benefited with our videos thank you for watching Thank you.